Hello guys, it's Gar here, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Feed the Beast mod pack, the Dire Wolf 20 mod pack, and the extra mods that we've been playing with on the Chaosville server to show you guys exactly what mods we're using and how to install them. We are in the process of trying to get a mod pack together, but it takes a lot of time to get all the permissions of the various mod users, and it may or may not even ever happen depending on certain circumstances. So in the meantime, we thought it was best to make a video to explain exactly what we are doing so that you guys can play in the same sort of mod pack environment that we are. So I've got a little notepad here to make sure I don't forget anything, So and I've also got my chrome here with all the links that we need so the first thing we need to do is you'll notice that all the links are in the description of the video but the first thing we need to do is go to feedthebeast.com and then you'll go to the download section and what you want to get is the exe you can get the jar if you want if you're a little bit more um no un understanding and knowledgeable about these sort of things but we recommend getting the exe that's what we use then what you want to do is you want to start up the exe so if we go into here where i've got all my mod packs already started up and if we open the Feed the Beast launcher, uh, hopefully we've, this should be fine. I can install it in a different place because I have already got a, a one started up on my desktop. So if we choose to install this here, what we want to do is go to Options, change wherever you want to install it to. Then we want to go to Mod Packs. In fact, let's just install it somewhere separate. Let's go to, let's make a new folder in here. Make a new folder, yeah. Let's call it uh, Direwolf. Uh, let's call it Chaosville. I know it's called Casville, but that'll do. <laughs> then we want to go to Mod Packs and you want to choose Direwolf 20, not F F FTB Ultimate, which is the latest new pack to come out, but we want to choose here Direwolf 20. Then you want to, you know, select your profile or whatever. You just basically select your profile and you go to Launch. Uh, go to new profile rather, create profile and it gets you to put it all in or whatever but it's already saved my details so we're just going to launch this now and now it will start the lengthy process of downloading the mod pack so I will be back with you guys once all of this is done and we will show you how then to add new mods Okay guys, so it's downloaded the mod pack. As you can see, we're just going through the last final steps here and what it will do is it will launch your FTB Direwolf 20 client as it stands. You can watch the console to watch it manually install all the mods as it goes through these processes. The difference, main difference between Feed the Beast and Techit in terms of how they work uh, as a mod pack is that Techit permanently modifies your jar and F feed the beast will install them all as it goes along please ignore the little data and stuff here so what we can do is basically we can go to single player we can go to multiplayer we can start up our own worlds but these won't be the proper chaos fill experience because we haven't added the extra mods so let's go do that now let's close down our feed the beast clients now this is dead 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 simple we're going to open up the launcher again and we're going to go to edit mod pack now as you can see here, there are three tabs. There are the Mods tabs, the Jar Mods tabs, and the Core Mods tabs. Different mods have to be added into different tabs. So what we will do now is go through the mods that we run on the Chaosville server, and I will show you where to download them and what to get specifically. So in Chaosville, we run in the Dire Wolf 20 pack, along with Bibliocraft version 1.1.0, Damage Indicators version 2.4.5, Mo Creatures 4.5.1, which also needs requires you to get these extra two mods, all of which will be on the thing. Tree Feather 2.1, Train Crafter 3.1, Train Craft 3.1.13, and most of us also run with Optifine, which is not required but definitely recommended, particularly if you want to also run with the texture pack that we're running, all of which I will be showing you now. So here is the first mod that we're running with, which is Bibliocraft, and if you just scroll down here, you'll notice that there's a download tab. Ooh, what's going on here? Yeah, down. No, you don't want to click the actual down. You want to click the show spoiler. And you want to go to either of these two links. Then you want to go to damage indicators. And you want to get this one. You want to go to mo creatures. And you want to get the mo creatures mod itself. And you will also need to get the GUI API and the custom mob spawner. You want to go to the tree feller link. And you want to get this mod underscore tree feather 2.1 
you want to go to the train craft link that's provided in the description and you want to go to download and you want to get this and last of all you want to go and get Optifine now I currently run with Optifine uh, 1.4.6 HD UC3 uh, the latest one seems to be HD D5 you're going to have to experiment with this yourself guys to see which one works for best for you because it all depends on your processor and multiple different things I'm going to be running with this Optifine because it is the one that I know works well for me and then we'll get later on to these texture packs now I have gone ahead and already downloaded all these mods into this particular mod folder as you can see right here so what we're going to do is open up the launcher again and I'll show you exactly where to install these mods it's dead 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 simple it couldn't be any easier you want to go to edit mod pack and we're going to add mods in now pretty much alphabetically so we're going to start with um, let's ignore custom mob spawner because it's basically part of mo creatures and let's go to damage indicators it is in the mod pack is in, in the mods tab so we're going to go to here we're going to navigate to where this all oh, it's downloaded so for us it's on our desktop uh, it's in a folder called chaos film mods and we're going to add damage indicators then we are going to go for dr zark's mo creatures so again the mo creatures part goes into the mods tab add mod dr zark's mo creatures which is still in the same folder here so we open that and add that and we can see it's been added then we need to go to jar mods and add the gui this is pretty important guys this the gui is required for um, more creatures to work and it needs to go in jar mod so just be conscious of that we're going to go back and we're going to add the custom mob spawner 1.1.1 also basically included with more creatures then we're going to skip ahead to go to tree feller again it goes in uh, it goes in the mods tab so where we're we looking for it now mod tree feller right there and then Optifine. Oh, well, let's we'll skip down through Optifine on these texture packs and go to Traincraft. And again, that goes in the Mods tab. The last thing that we need to add is Optifine, and it goes in the Jars Mod tab. So let's go to Optifine and add it in there. Now you'll notice that you can, what you can basically do is you can disable and enable, and I will show you exactly how that works now as well. So let's say, for example, let's just say that Bibliocraft. Let's find Bibliocraft. Bibli we added Bibliocraft. No, we haven't. Alright, let me just download Bibliocraft and I'll add that again. Okay, forgive me that, guys. I forgot to download Bibliocraft. So we're just going to add that the same way as we did the others in the Mods tab, Bibliocraft. Let's say, however, Bibliocraft decides to update and version 1.1.0 is no longer relevant. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we disable this. So we just highlight it and click Disable. And I will show you exactly what that does now, which is actually pretty interesting. All that basically does, let's ignore that shortcut, I didn't mean to do that. All it basically does is, come on, go back. I'm going to go into the server. We're going to go into the Diary of 20 where it's been installed. We want to go to Minecraft and we want to go to Mods. And you'll see now that where I have disabled Bibliocraft, if we go down to Bibliocraft, all it basically does is add dot disabled to the end of it. So if we want to re-enable it, we just go like this and eventually you'll see it removes the dot disabled, thus enabling the mod again. All dead, dead simple. So let's just go through it again. Mods, all we've added there, you can see. And jar mods in particular, we need to add the GUI, API, and the Optifine. So what we're going to do now is just test that out by launching it. And we'll be back whenever it successfully launches. No. <laughs> you don't want to update whenever it does stuff like that, unless your server has updated, that is. Okay, guys, and as you can see, it's all loaded up properly, and you'll see now that 70 mods loaded is what we are currently running with. Now, another thing you're going to say is, Gar, we want to use your texture pack. We want to use this fax texture pack. This, again, is dead, dead easy. So eventually, we'll be opening up the texture pack here, but what I want to do is show you exactly how to compile it yourself first. So here, again, in the links in the description, you will find three links. There is the link to the BD Craft general download, and what we what we will require you to do is go and download whatever desired resolution you want. Most of us are running on 64 because we see the difference between 64 and 128 to be minimal. So we're running on 64, 1.4.7. Then you want to go to this link, which is for a Feed the Beast Insanity Map add-on pack in the forums. It's not perfect, but it's got a lot of the Feed the Beast stuff already in it. It's for an old Feed the Beast mod pack, but again, a lot of the stuff is more or less similar. Then you want to go to this link, which is a forum post, and again in this fax forums, where somebody, well a lot of people in the community have been compiling their own Thomcraft 3 texture pack. Again, 
we want to go for the 64-bit work in progress bit. Then we'll go back to our Chaos Film Mods folder here where I have compiled all of these and we're just going to drag these out into the desktop for easier understanding. Right, we're going to open up the Sfax Pure BD Craft. You just want to open up with WinRAR or something similar. You want to open up the add-on and you want to open up the Thumbcraft 3 patch and you basically just go like this. You scroll and you collect everything here and you just copy it over and whenever it asks you to copy and replace you will click OK and it will basically replace all the necessary things, combine the two of them together. And then you want to just take Thumbcraft and drag that over as well. Perfect, that's it. as simple as that. So now you can actually close this down and rename this to Sfax Pure BD Craft Chaos Fill 64 bit. And you can delete these two because they've now been combined, should you wish. Now we are going to just put this back in here for ease of navigation. We are going to open up our Feed the Beast client and we're going to go to Texture Packs. We're going to open our Texture Pack folder and we are going to drag this in. So if we go back to the desktop, well actually let's just open it up here. If we go back to the desktop, get our Sfax Pure BD Craft 64 bit and drag it in. You'll see that it comes up now. Now changing to it can take some time, so let's click on it and wait for it to load. Okay guys, and look as you can see now, now we have got the proper texture pack add-on. Now just to prove to you guys that this is the same mod pack that we're working on Chaosville, I'm going to go to multiplayer and I'm going to add in the server. Now I'll be obviously be blocking out the server IP for you guys in the video, but I'm just going to put in the server IP here now. And we are going to connect to it. And as you can see guys, I have successfully logged on to the server. I would not have been able to successfully log on had I not uh, got the correct mods in the mod pack because you need the mods that a server has in order to log on to the server. So this proves to you that if you follow the steps of my tutorial, you will have a similar mod pack to the exact same mod pack as what we are running on on Chaosville. So thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked the tutorial and found it useful, please give it a like to show the other followers of Chaosville Let's Plays exactly how to install these mod packs. I will be putting a link to all the necessary assets in the description. And yeah. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.